speaking God's word. Truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be taken up and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is going to happen, it will be granted him. Mark 11, 23 And the Lord said, If you had faith like a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Luke 17, 6 And he got up and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Hush, be still. And the wind died down, and it became perfectly calm. Mark 4, 39 By faith we understand the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. Hebrews 11, 3 For I did not speak on my own initiative, but the Father himself who sent me has given me a commandment as to what to say and what to speak. I know that his commandment is eternal life. Therefore the things I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me. John 12, 49 and 50 I will raise up a prophet from among their countrymen, like you, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. Deuteronomy 18, 18 Bless the Lord, you his angels, mighty in strength, who perform his word, obeying the voice of his word. Psalm 103, verse 20 And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them just as he did upon us at the beginning. Acts 11:15. The heart of the wise instructs his mouth and adds persuasiveness to his lips. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16, 23, and 24. What I tell you in the darkness, speak in the light, and what you hear whispered in your ear, proclaim upon the housetops. Matthew 10, 27. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The fountain of wisdom is a bubbling brook. With the fruit of a man's mouth, his stomach will be satisfied. He will be satisfied with the product of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18, verses 4, 20, and 21. For the mouth speaks out of that which fills the heart. But I tell you that every careless word that people speak, they shall give an accounting for it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Matthew 12, 34b in verses 36 and 37. If anyone thinks himself to be religious and yet does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this man's religion is worthless. James 1, 26. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. Romans 10, 10. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10:23. But having the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We also believe, therefore we also speak. 2 Corinthians 4:13. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am a mighty man. Joel 3:10. From the fruit of a man's mouth, he enjoys good. Proverbs 13, 2a You will also decree a thing, and it will be established for you, and light will shine on your ways. When you are cast down, you will speak with confidence, and the humble person he will save. Job 22, 28 and 29 And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak the word of God with boldness. Acts 4, 31b When they arrest you and hand you over, do not worry beforehand about what you are to say, but say whatever is given you in that hour, for it is not you who speak, but it is the Holy Spirit. Mark 13, 11.